video I'm going to show you how to take a black and white or grayscale photo and paint over it painting combined. Okay, so if you I'm going to give you this photo to open. We're going to color in this frog. If you go to image mode, you'll see it says grayscale. And if you were to try to color on it right now, no matter what color you pick, like if I pick a color in here, it's still going to show as gray. So if that ever happens to you, you open a file and you're trying to color it and everything's gray, just go up here and go to mode, image mode, and we're going to choose RGB, okay, because this is a web document. All right, so now we're ready to um, add some color to this. I'm going to pick a green color for my frog. And I need to add a new layer over here because I can't, I don't want to paint on top of this frog because I need a layer that has a blending option. So we're going to go to layer, new, layer, and we can call it frog color. And right here where it says mode, I want you to put that on multiply. Okay, and say okay. So over here you'll see we have a new layer called frog color. And the blending mode is up here, multiply. So if you forget to do it um, when you're creating the layer, you can always come over here and change it from normal to multiply. All right, now we need to get our brush. We're going to go over here on the brush tool. I'm going to open up my brush options, make the hardness 100%, and then I'm going to make the brush kind of big, somewhere around 2. Well, that's a little bit too big. About and, 130 is pretty good. All right, and since we have a black and a mostly black background, that makes it really easy because then you can color outside of the lines. You don't need to worry about trying to color in everything really carefully. So that's one reason I picked this this photo, this frog, because it would be easy to color in. I'm going to paint his eye a different color, but I'm going to go ahead and just paint over it with a big green brush for now so I can show you how to erase. Okay, now I'm using the bracket keys next to my P on my keyboard to make my brush smaller so I can uh, cover up the or color in the hands without getting the stick. So I'm going to leave the stick just black and white. Okay, so if you make any mistakes, you can just get the eraser and erase it. I'm going to go ahead and erase his eye because I don't want it to be painted green. All right, now I'm going to pick, oh, I see that I left a little bit um, that I need to paint right there as other toe. Okay, so now I'm going to paint the eye red. So I'm going to click on my color picker, choose red, and go back up there and color in the eye red. And then I am going to make kind of a highlight on it with a lighter color. So I'm going to pick orange, say OK. But this time, instead of using a hard brush, I'm going to show you how you can do, use a soft brush to make it look more like it's feathered in. So do that so that it kind of fades from orange to red. And then I'm going to get a yellowy color and paint in you know, a bigger brush and kind of paint under its chin so that it fades from green to yellow. So we'll paint like his stomach and the inside of his leg a yellow color with the soft brush. Okay, so that's how you can paint a color or paint a black and white photo to kind of look like a painting. It's kind of a neat effect. I want to show you over here where it says multiply that you can put these on different um, settings. Just try it out just to see what it looks like. Now, if I would have had it on normal, that's what it looks like. So all that painting I did, it looks like that, unless you put it on one of these blending modes. I think multiply looks the best, but you can try, go through the, some of these and just see what it looks like. It's kind of interesting, some of the different options. Like that looks cool. If you got rid of all the green around the edge of the frog, that would look kind of cool. So, okay, I'm going to leave mine on multiply, and um, the last thing you need to do before you save everything is to type your name. Oops.
and I'm going to press the check mark and move that down here. All right, so we have three layers. We have our name, we have the color on here, and then we have the background photo. Go to File, Save, and I'm going to name it Frog, or I'm going to name it um, Mrs. Oaks Frog. And I'm going to save it a Photoshop file with layers in case I want to edit it later. And then save a JPEG file, save as, JPEG, and that's the um, photo that I'll be putting on my Google slide presentation. And say replace because I already had it. And so there you go. That's how you do that.